All right, number six. Uh, for this experiment of rolling an ordinary pair of dice, we want to find the probability that the sum will be odd or a multiple of five. <clears throat> so we're going to look at a um, sample of a pair of dice. Um, and we're going to look at uh, being odd or a multiple of five. I don't think they give us one here, but let me, let me pull one up. Let me see. Sample space. The image right here. This will work. Um, no, this is not what I want. Let's go back. I want the sum. Where's one that shows the sum? This will work. Can I make this big? All right, <clears throat> so um, this shows the sum. If you roll a one and a one, you get a two. So it's one plus one is two. If you roll a one and a two, you get three. So these are the sums. All right, we want to find the probability that the sum will be odd or a multiple of five, okay? So let's look at all the odds. So all the odds, it's gonna be half of them, okay? So half of them are even, so you got even, odd, even, odd. So out of 36, 18, 18 of them will be odd, all right? Now, multiple of five will include tens and twenties. So look, down the diagonal, well, only tens and, uh, that's it, because fives are odd, 10 is the only thing else is multiple of five. So you got 18 that are odd, and then that's including the fives, those, those are multiples of five, 18, and then you have one, two, three, tens. So 18 plus three gives you 21, all right? So we have for number six, we have 21 out of 36. Both of these are divisible by three, so that will give us seven over 12. All right, so the probability odd or five, multiple of five, is seven out of 12. <clears throat> All right, so now we have on number seven, this table gives probability of scoring in different ranges uh, in a given round. Uh, find the event of par or above par. So this is on a par 70 golf course, golf course. so that means that you have to get 70 um, or below okay 70 or below <clears throat> and we want to know par or above so which ones did more than 70 so this right here 70 or above uh, is 0.25 okay so the probability of going par or above is just 0.25 okay let me see par or above and how they want to type an integer or a decimal Oh, I'm sorry, there's more to the table. I'm not seeing all the numbers. Okay, par or above, the 0.25 and um, the rest of these we need to add. So 0 0.25, 21, 11, 06. Um, so we're gonna do 0 0.25 plus 0.21 plus Point eleven, point zero six, point zero four. We're going to add these up, and we get this is twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, sixty seven, point six seven, point six seven. So I wasn't seeing all the numbers. 0.67 okay what am I missing some more numbers 0.67 okay what did I miss 0.67 I didn't see all the rest of them so 
three, so point seven one. If I add the rest of those, geez, I'm sorry, I didn't see the whole table. Point seven one. Hopefully that's it. That's everything. There we go.